This is Lee Leachman with another edition of No Better Bull. If you've been reading the popular press lately, you've seen a lot of articles about the benefits or um, possible lack of benefits of crossbreeding, and so I th we thought with No Better Bull we'd weigh in on the subject. Of course, there's been lots and lots of research that studied the benefits of crossbreeding. The uh, basic concept is that hybrid vigor increases pounds weaned per cow exposed. In other words, for every hundred cows you have in your herd, you'll wean more pounds of calves if those cows are crossbred cows. A lot of that advantage comes in things like survival of the calves at birth, growthiness and milk production of the growthiness of the calves and milk production of the cow and rebreeding rate of the cow and even cow longevity is increased by hybrid vigor and so all of these things combine to make hybrid vigor or crossbreeding a very important tool to use in increasing profitability in cattle production. On the other side there's something called additive genetic value. This is the, the improved genetics typically found within purebred lines of cattle where breeders have selected to improve the cattle to make them better over time, to uh, increase growth rate and lower birth weights, to improve the consistency of milk production, and improve carcass merit. And certainly the pure breeds have been instrumental, in fact critical, to the improvement of beef cattle genetics here in the United States. The challenge or question that's being debated right now is whether those straight breeds have enough advantage genetically to put them ahead of taking advantage of crossbreeding. Of course, we just uh, want to suggest that maybe you can have your cake and eat it too. And that is you can utilize the superior genetics in the purebred lines and combine them to make crossbreds. And then you can use hybrid or purebred genetics and plan crossbreeding systems to perpetuate the hybrid vigor and still take advantage of additive genetics. As you do that, it's, it's critically important that any of the bulls you buy be well characterized for the economically significant traits. In other words, they need to be evaluated from a performance standpoint. They need to have EPDs, and those EPDs need to be backed by a good database and obviously a reputable breeder. Having said that, if you do that, it's pretty well documented, like these cows that are standing behind me today. They're all hybrid genetics. They're producing bull calves that will be marketed as seed stock, despite the fact that they're multiple breed calves. And the uniformity and consistency and predictability of that of their offspring will be just the same as the uniformity and predictability of the purebreds. The only question is then what is the additive genetic merit and in today's industry you can find hybrids of a number of different breeds that offer not just hybrid vigor but also offer the additive genetic merit, the improved genetic traits backed by predictable EPDs that ensure that you get what you expect. With that we think that the best way to maximize your productivity is to utilize both improved genetics and hybrid vigor in your commercial ranching environment. Thanks for joining us on another edition of No Better Bull.